Hello, Fairy Fox here, and today I shall be showing you this old projector I happen to own. Um, yeah. Sorry, we keep hearing banging my neighbours are putting in a boiler. It's been going on all day. Anyway, this is the um, DS607M. Apparently, from what I've heard, it's made in Japan by a company called Yamawa. Can't really pronounce that. Um, yeah, it's got one of these arms. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know much about these. Um, on the okay, let's just go around what we see. What we have first. This is the um, uh, when that's on, it doesn't click down. That allows you to do audio dubbing, I think. Um, I don't do the recording stuff, so I don't know anything about any of these switches. That's the volume control. Um, that does a significant amount of difference, even if you, I'm not kidding, if you even have it on two, it's like blasting. Um, these, some kind of plugs presumably, and uh, that's for the sound out, and that's the frame rate change switch. I'm not sure the proper words, and this is the take up reel, which this is the original one I think. Look at all the pictures I've seen in the manual, this is actually the Everything's original. Uh, the tape I'll be watching is uh, Tom and Jerry, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Mouse. It's an excellent episode. Definitely one of my favourites. Um, so, actually, me, I can. Uh, hmm, what can I do to set it up? Uh, it can't go. Here we go. It's not obscured by the curtain. Anyway. It's a uh, auto feeding. And here we go, you can watch the countdown. There's a long leader on this. Very crackly. There you go. Technicolor. <clears throat> this changes the screen size. Oh. That's obviously focused. I'm going to get that. There we go. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. It's very loud, as you can probably hear. <laughs> this is just the... Uh, I don't know what you call that, vertical fold. Anyway, I'm going to show you to the end of the clip. I'm going to cut all this out. Yeah, it's nearing the end. I can't do anything about that flicker, it's because the camera is at 30 frames per second, the projector is at 24. Yep, there's not much of an end uh, thing on this tape, it ends soon as the cartoon ends pretty much. Okay, I can turn the sound up. Every Super 8 film does that at the end. Yes, well, that is it. Um, you can see it's all wound up onto this. Oh, great, it's folded the tape. Uh, I really need to get some... Uh, oh, no, it hasn't folded it, has it? No, nah, that's just me I'm going crazy. Uh, so watching Super 8 does do. Not the film Super 8, the actual projectors. Anyway, I've got to climb over my sofa to actually get to the damn light switch. It's the only logical setup I have. <clears throat> anyway, yes. And um, the reason I filmed the end is because... <clears throat> for some reason, whenever you go to unplug this, it makes a strange sound. 
Yep, that came from the speaker. And now I have to rewind this damn thing. Now, rewinding it is really, well, not unusual, but it's a, one thing I hate about Super 8mm projectors. We've got that on the end. The reason I'm making this video is because I think, like, uh, somebody on YouTube did request it. And sometimes I do request videos depending on what they are. And if I have the time. I can't get it there, you... I need to have some practice at this. It's an art, apparently. There we go. Now you flip into a verse. And it all reels back. Mmm, sophistication. Anyway, uh, I'll speed this up a little so it doesn't go too badly uh, long. Oh, that's a lot of slack. <laughs> I think I've got to put that down there. And then you put the tape away, ready for another thing. I do have the cover somewhere, but oops, what did I just kick out? Oh, yeah, I have got two other films as well. Thanks for watching. And now we just flip it into reverse if it's plugged in. That was embarrassing. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot I unplugged it. Oh, hello, today. Oh, sorry, let's do the proper greeting. Hello, Fairy Fox here, 